Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be giving an honest in-depth review of one of the original trailblazers of the original ice bath movement and that is the ice pod. More specifically the ice pod pro as well as the ice pod standard chiller. We're going to be going over everything you need to know about these products. Is it worth the price tag and most importantly is it worth it to you and what you're looking for in an ice bath. Now I do want to preface just one more time that this is the pro version of the ice pod and not the standard version and for a good few reasons. Now the standard ice pod goes for around $99 while the pro version goes for about $149. Now with those extra $50 you get an extra two valves for even easier chiller connection, better insulation, and even a bigger tank size now holding up to 110 gallons compared to the original 84. Now if you did come to this video looking for an opinion on whether you should get the standard or the pro version, hopefully that was a quick and easy answer saying that yeah, you should just go for the pro. Now with all the extra stuff out of the way, let's get into it. Now as always, starting off with first looks, this isn't anything different that we've seen before, nothing special, nothing uh, extraordinary either. As we can see on the inside, it is your standard liner, just the standard white there. When you do come to the outside though, the one thing that is nice with the Pro compared to the standard version is it's actually an advanced uh, UV material. Now like all the other pop-ups out there, we just have the inflatable ring which you can fill up right here. As you can see, those two black holes there will actually be our valves, which we'll come around to. We just have two valves here. With the Pro version, as I said, it does come with two, making it a lot easier to connect to a chiller. If you only have the standard though, it will only come with one, and I think it's down here at the bottom. So this is a nice touch being able to have the two, allowing for easier connection and even for better chilling, if the chiller is something that you decide to go for. I did make two videos recently, one being about the plunge box, which is Sauna Box's new cold plunge, as well as Warrior Willpower's extra large plunge bath bundle. The one thing with the ice pod, and while no, there isn't any water in it, is just its general stability. With the plunge box, when shaking it, it did have water in it, but it was very stable. Like it was just very well held together. There's no problems with it. With this though, on the ice pot, it is very flimsy. Like even just pushing my hand into it, it is pretty thin. Um, while the insulation is good, that is something to mention. It does have the poles, just like all the other ones, as you can see down here. So it's not like, oh, it's just being held up by nothing, but it is pretty light. It is pretty easy to kind of just play around with. Like it has a lot of give to it. Now, while the ice pot is lacking some stability, nothing else is really giving out any obvious red flags. It is a good quality on the outside, good inflatable rim. It holds itself up, which of course that is what we're looking for. But overall, nothing really bad to say about it as far as it looks. As previously mentioned, it holds up to 110 gallons of water. It measures to be about 30 inches tall and 32 inches in diameter. Now, just to finish off with one more thing, it is only eight pounds when it is empty. So if portability is something that's really important to you, IcePod is probably gonna be one of the best at it. Putting this thing up and breaking it down could easily be done in under two minutes. So if you are someone who prioritizes being able to take these things with you on the go, vacation, whatever the case might be, the IcePod is 100% gonna be able to do that. Now, the star of the show here is the standard chiller. Now, with this chiller specifically, it does run for $997 which if you are in the chiller market and have seen, this is right about in the middle compared to a few others out there. Now, starting with looks as always, it does have that same nice matte black paint as a lot of them do. I think everybody's kind of just following the same theme at this point, but it is only 12 by 12 by 13 inches all around as far as its dimensions. So it is really nice. It's very lightweight too. It only comes in at 39 pounds. And considering that, the light weight of being only 39 pounds, it can actually get temperatures down to 41 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius. When you consider all those factors together, being its power capabilities, its size and weight, it does give you quite the bang for your buck. Now tagging along on the side of our chiller here is our filter. It is a 20 micron filter. Now with the chiller and the filter itself, it does have 24 seven water flow which IcePod does claim to allow for clean and clear water for weeks, even to months. Now, while I have used this product a bit more often than that, and I haven't necessarily let it sit for that long, I can say that while letting it sit for a solid week or two, I haven't had any major problems with cleaning or buildup of mold, algae, or anything of the sorts. Now, as we've just wrapped up with the IcePod Pro, as well as the IcePod Standard Chiller, let's talk about is it worth it and is it worth it for you? 
Now with these two products, I will go ahead and say that yes, I do think they're worth it. With the iSpod Pro here giving it even better insulation compared to its standard version, which I think isn't worth it, I do think the Pro version is definitely worth it. Has the better insulation, has the UV protection on the outside as well if you do keep this outdoors. And overall, for it being a bit more of a beginner friendly ice bath or cold plunge, I do think that it is worth its price tag. Same thing with the chiller here, I do believe that it is worth it. As I mentioned before, it is kind of the middleman in the market. It does run for about the average price of most, so you're not getting anything special, but it will certainly do its job. Especially when you throw in a few factors like its size, its weight, and its power capabilities, it does do pretty well and does keep up with some of the other big guys out there. That's going to wrap it up for today's review, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you do have any other comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And as always, if you are looking to pick up anything from icepod.com, whether it be the IcePod Pro, and make sure you pick the Pro, or the standard chiller, feel free to use my link and promo code in the description. That's going to get you 10% off anything from their website. And as always, take care.